Welcome, Welcome to, to the, the castle. castle. <laughs> gotta go so high, there's two different elevators. What is going on everyone? Welcome to the channel and welcome to the Chateau Frontenac, the most famous hotel in Canada. So the reason that this place is so special to us is actually six years ago in December, we started dating here. It's where we officially started dating. So whenever we can, we kind of try and take the opportunity to come back if possible. Yeah, so as so we yeah. were driving from Halifax to Montreal, we decided to stop in Quebec yeah. City because we had to relive the moment. Yeah. So we're gonna show you around because it's, it's quite a special hotel. It's really nice. On the first floor, there's a whole bunch of fancy shops and everything, but my favorite is when you come at Christmas time, you have all the different types of Christmas trees. I love it, it's beautiful. What I love about this hotel is like the interior decor. It's so luxurious, it actually looks like a castle. Like, it's really beautiful. Welcome to our room. It's a beautiful one. Okay, so we have been in the car all day long. For 10 hours. And I'm greasy and gross, and <laughs> I need a shower. So before we do this room tour, before we get started, let's feel a little better. Yeah, that would be great. Yeah. Much better. And since everything is basically closed here in Quebec City right now, uh, we are gonna take advantage of wearing robes and you're gonna get a room tour brought to you by Tracy in a robe. <laughs> Let's go. But tomorrow we're actually gonna show you a little bit more yeah. of old Quebec City, which is beautiful. Hopefully it's not gonna be too cold. But now it's freezing out right now. Up to Tracy for a room tour. Okay, so actually before we came here, like last night, they called and they're like, hey, everything's shut down. Are you still sure you wanna come? So we're like, yes, we're still coming. So what we did when we arrived, we asked if we had any upgrades and we got upgraded. <laughs> Tip, tip guys. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> you come in, you have a little coat closet. It's literally just our coats, so it's not, nothing to see in there. Look at our beautiful room. It's huge and it's so much bigger than the one that we booked. We booked just like the normal standard one and we got upgraded to a bigger one. I can tell you right now, this bed is gonna be amazing. It always is, always. So we have a corner room, so it's laid out a little bit differently. I'll show you the views after, but you have a view area there. Same here with our luggage everywhere, <laughs> little desk. And then behind me is the bathroom. So there's a lot more light in the bathroom and the main room is mainly just lamps. Beautiful mirror. Did really well when you're trying to do your face. It's nice. <laughs> and shower. Already had a shower. Oh, it felt so good after sitting in the car and being disgusting. But anyway, that's our room. So I think we're gonna do room service for supper because our favorite restaurant that we are gonna order from is currently closed, only on Wednesdays. And it's Wednesday, our luck. Uh, so let's figure out what we wanna eat, maybe have a little drink and go from there. And we even have a fantastic view overlooking the city. Food is here and it looks delicious. Okay, so we couldn't really decide what we wanted for food tonight. Um, so we got a cheese and meat board for later on because we forgot to bring snacks and you always need snacks. And then we got a salmon tartare, we got some fries and salad, I guess. Didn't know that was coming. But then we got the beetroot and goat cheese salad with a all dressed pizza. And it all looks amazing. I'm hungry. Just finished supper. So it was, was delicious. Fantastic. And we have some uh, little late night snacks for later because, uh, again, no snacks. Yeah. So, yeah. But uh, a little expensive $138 Canadian. But they also add a $5 delivery fee and 15%, and 15 which is kind of the tip that you would pay normally at a restaurant. But anyway, no, no regrets. 
No. <laughs> so it's kind of crazy to think that six years ago, we did not know what our life would be like. Like we knew we were going to be together and everything like that, but that we live in Kenya now. It's kind of crazy to think about. So to celebrate, we have actually a bottle of local wine to Nova Scotia, which I've never tried this one, um, from Lightfoot in Wolfall. So let's pop some bubbly. Oh, okay, that happened fast. <laughs> Cheers to more adventures. And on that, well, see you guys in the morning. Good morning. Quebec got quite a bit of snow overnight. Ch check this out. Snow everywhere. It's still snowing and it's supposed to snow all day. But that is not gonna stop us from going and explore old Quebec City. We got me cold though. Cold shirts, right? Mm-hmm. Mickey Mouse. Mickey Mouse. <laughs> So Quebec City is quite a big city, but the old Quebec City is definitely the best part of the city because Beautiful. of the look, like most of those buildings are literally hundreds of years old and there's little shops everywhere and everything. So we're going to go check out a few and come along. This is actually a Christmas store that is open 365 days a year. Tracy got some uh, hot chocolate from the store yep. to bring back to Africa. Tracy just bought a nice too, so I got mine back. I lost mine. Well, I'm pretty sure it's in the car somewhere, but I can't find I it. think it's not lost either. And tonight, we need it. Oh yeah, that's true. But that's a different video. We had some of the best ice cream last time we were here at that place. David, how do you say it? Chocolat favori. There you go. You have to check it out. It was like coated in fudge. So good. Time to put on some snow pants. Don't recommend doing this in a car. Okay, for the next few clips, we're gonna switch to the GoPro. You'll understand why in a few seconds. So right beside the Chateau Frontenac, you can actually go uh, sledding down a big hill and it's, it's gonna be great. So this is actually a classic old fashioned toboggan. Right now we use them to actually uh, just slide down hills and things like that with kids. But back in the days, they were actually using that to transport different materials or things you would need uh, in the, during, during the Canadian winter. And now we just use them to slide down hills. Yes, because it's more fun. I am so pumped. I also haven't gone like sledding in years, pretty much. Oh, watch, watch, watch. I enjoyed that more than I should have. <laughs> <laughs> 
That was super fun and that ticket we actually got it for free uh, with our stay at the Chateau and it also comes with a hot chocolate that we're gonna go get right now. Tracy's very excited about it. Yeah. There's nothing better than a hot chocolate on a cold winter day. Cheers. It's probably really hot. Mm. Oh, that's hot. good hot chocolate. Oh, that's good stuff. Yeah. Wow. Mm. If for some reason you didn't get your fix of cute and old looking building, up top in the down the old downtown area well you can come actually all the way down almost at the river level and basically there's some more store more restaurant and everything but it has another feel a different look i think yeah. it's even prettier and actually I, yeah same i prefer the ones down here mm -hmm. it's very nice Something super cool that you can do here as well is to go à la petite cabane à sucre. Mm. That means uh, the little sugar shack and you can get maple toffee or maple on the snow and it's the good stuff. It is. I think we boiled ours a little bit too long last time. Yeah, we, this stuff is, like, we tried to make some in another video the other day. It was still pretty good. Mm. So if you're unable to go down all of those stairs that are right there, you can actually take a little tram that goes up and down. So the restaurant behind me is actually David's favorite restaurant like ever, I think. Pretty much. Pretty much. So normally where we work, when we're in Quebec City, we're able to stop there. But like I said last night, Wednesday, apparently it decided to be closed. So if you're ever in Quebec City, the restaurant is called Bistro Sous Le Fort. It's the street that's literally kind of under the uh, Chateau Frontenac. So trust me, you're going to love it. Okay, so that was Quebec City. We always love whenever we get the chance to spend a night here because for us it's a little date romantic getaway. Yeah, it is um, It is such like a nice relaxing and like picturesque city. Very much so. Like summer or winter, it's the one place I say it's just as nice in the winter yeah. as it is in the summer. Yeah, but so. now we gotta go because yeah. we are sleeping tonight in probably the most unique accommodation we have ever been to. And, and it might coldest. It might be freezing, so make sure to subscribe and see you in the next one. <laughs> Something super cool. There's actually some sort of like, is that honey? Though? I don't know. Or cheese. Is it honey or cheese? Definitely cheese. Never mind. <laughs>